Hello friends, today I'll be discussing two different type of charts. One is a frequency polygon, which is also known as a line chart and uh, other chart which I'm going to discuss today is uh, a histogram. So these are the two charts. Uh, this will be a short video in which I'll be discussing both the charts. First of all, I'll be discussing the frequency polygon. You could see the data right in front of you. Uh, I have years in one particular column and I have production of wheat in India, which is measured in metric tons in other column. So I just want to display this whole information through a frequency polygon. So in order to uh, drop a frequency polygon, what I can do is I have to select this production of wheat, first of all. I have to go to insert and line. So uh, this is very easy. It immediately pops up a line chart for you. But uh, the problem which appears is that X axis doesn't have the values which you want you want these years to be on the x-axis. So in order to do that, what you should do is, you should see whether this particular graph is selected or not. If it is not selected, these two options, design and format, will go out from here. So you get this particular graph selected, uh, and the moment you select this graph, these two options highlight in the ribbons, chart tools, so design and format. So you just have to stay in design, and you have to select data right from this particular tab. Now, uh, this dialog box should appear, and in this dialog box, I just want to change horizontal category axis labels. I have nothing to do with legend entry labels. So, I'm going to go to edit and select years from 2000 to 2016. I'm not selecting uh, the first particular row because my label is there in this particular uh, row if I in uh, the particular column A1 particular cell if I select here then that will be the first value with this particular graph will take and I click OK and OK so this is it you get your all years on axis of X and uh, the chart automatically takes the title name production of wheat you can change the title as you want you can uh, right click on the dots you can add data labels and uh, you can do a lot of things with the data labels you can go to format data labels and you can decide where you want to place them. You want to place them above, below, to the right of the dots, to the left of the dots, or right at the center. So you must be uh, careful about the visibility. And if I, let's say, select above, then it clearly shows me that uh, the uh, values are clearly shown to me. You can get rid, get rid of these midlines. So you can just select them and delete them. And you can plot you can place this particular chart anywhere you want. You can add chart elements. That means if you want to give, uh, you know, let's say, you want to give access a title, I want to give vertical access a title, and I just want to write it production of wheat in metric tons. So the access title, you can also move it as per your convenience, and you can also add a horizontal axis title let's say i'm adding it here and i can write it time on x-axis so that's the time which i have added and there is one more good feature is you can also add a trend line you can go to add chart element trend line i always prefer to add a linear trend line so it shows whether the line is increasing or decreasing and uh, then you can format this particular line, its width, or uh, anything you want. You can do a lot of things with this, and I'll be getting rid of this line as of now. And uh, let me uh, control C. I'm picking up this particular chart right from here, and I'm opening my Word document and pasting it there. So you can give it a figure number, figure one. And you can start writing your analysis right after that. Let me centralize it. You can use my control E key to centralize this figure one. And you can get rid of borders as well. You can go to design, sorry, format, and you can select no outline. So it doesn't have a border now. So you can go ahead and start writing your analysis right after pasting your figure. So that was about uh, frequency uh, polygon. And uh, now the next chart which I'll be discussing, I'll be discussing is a histogram. So in order to do that, I have already uh, compiled some data. You can see I have marks and number of students who scored these particular marks right here. 
so in order to drop a histogram which is a, a very common tool people use histogram a lot in order to represent data so you just select this whole table and you can go to insert and you can select a column right from here so it immediately automatically it picks up that's the histogram you have class intervals right there you can see frequency you can write any give it any particular name and uh, what what but this is this doesn't look like a histogram because the bars have too much of gap so you can select any one of bars you can click it to select all the bars you can right click and go to format data series and uh, this window shall appear in excel 2013 and you have to reduce gap width to zero and uh, what what you can do is uh, you can further add some effects to these graphs i would uh, suggest border right so in border i would say solid line and i wish to give it a different color so my bars look a little different from each other so that looks wonderful now now I can write it uh, count of students. I can give it any title. Count of students that hardly is going to make any distance difference. Sorry, and uh, you can add again the chart elements. You can add axis titles. Like I can get a horizontal axis title is marks. That's what I want to write here. And uh, I always prefer them out at the end of the axis. I can also add a verticular title and I can type in number of students uh, I can give their class reference also class I would say VBA let's say so that's the reference you can give so and you can uh, pick up this histogram right from here you can copy it or you can cut it by using your keyboard shortcuts let me paste it on the same file okay so to put my cursor here and i'm going to paste it so this is the histogram which you immediately get right there if you want to add data labels you can do that also uh, you just can delete these lines you can also work it in word you can add data labels it immediately picks up this facility is in excel 2013 that you can add at your chart in word as well then you can go to format and you can choose there is no line and uh, this is the easy way to drop a histogram you can start giving it a figure name and start typing your analysis whatever you want so thank you guys i have uh, discussed two different charts you can select a lot of designs right from here for your histogram you can see that there are a lot of charts there is a drop down menu and you can as per your convenience the type of slides which are using 3d and whatever in fact so you can do a lot of things with these charts so that's it for today guys in my next video i'll be discussing radar diagram and pareto chart thank you